Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a jetpack system inside Unreal Engine 5 with the blueprint. So I'm using the third person template as usual and I will start going by to the player itself and make some visuals for this jetpack mesh and the flamethrower. So I'm selecting first of all the mesh and I will add a simple cube called this jetpack mesh and since it's a child from the mesh you can have this parent thing and you can uh, parent that to the spine okay so it will be attached to the spine let me scale that now let me zoom and scale that mesh like so and let me decrease that in the x and lift him up like so so now if i compile now i go and play i have this mesh attached to the spine now i have already a particle system if you have a, a, a flamethrower anything particle system you can do this i have that I, I believe i get that free from the epic marketplace it was a free thing so uh, select this mesh and i will add a cascade particle system I will call this flame and I have only that P underscore flamethrower okay so let me now rotate that 90 degrees and make him almost in the center of that box mesh okay so if I compile and play I have this flame okay so it's up to you these things are for visual things it's not related to any about the mechanics of the game so mechanics sorry of the of the gameplay so uh, let me set the visibility first to off so it's by default off so let me go back and in the input system i believe i add that yes i age it back i just simple make an input and make an input action and call this i a jetpack and Hook this inside the mapping context as this and assign the T keyboard. Okay, the T keyboard. So I have this action map. Okay, now go to the event of this player and right click, say jet back. And I believe, come on, it's a jet back. Let me see, jet back, yes. Let me search for that jet back please come on that's an input there you are okay so now i have this enhanced input component system it's called the jet back since i add that uh, to the mapping context so i will do this on start and on complete so basically the idea is launching the characters uh, every 0.2 seconds and i will do this inside a timer handler not on tick just in timer handler so i i will do this in a, inside a timer handler for decreasing and increasing the fuel of the jetpack system so uh, i will add uh, four variables and i will call this the current jetpack fuel and let me duplicate that and call this the max jetpack fuel this will be both set to 400 for the max and the current also will be by default when he start is 400 so and let me add two timers because i'm on start i will say start please the jetpack and when it's complete uh stop the jetpack okay and i need now two timer handles one is responsible for increasing uh the jetpack fuel and one is for decreasing the jetpack fuel so let me do this let me duplicate that and call this timer handle increase fuel and it's off type timer handle 
okay and the other one is timer handle timer handle decrease fuel okay so I have these four variables first of all I have my current jetpack and my max jetpack fuel and these are two responsible for increasing and decreasing my fuel now I need to call two functions okay on start and on complete so I make uh, two function I call this start jet back and I will make another one called this end jet back okay so let me go to the event graph I can call this function easily from when the player press that button and when on its end please on complete and this jetpack okay so the star jetpack will be called and it need to be checking for, for 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 the current fuel so say if it's greater than zero okay now it's valid thing and please and make my air control for the character component and set air control almost about 0.8 okay so give the player some control when he hovering in the air okay and grab that flame please for me this particle system and I will set visibility to true okay so it will be shown let me show you that if I compile and play now it's by default hidden if I hit the T key now he have this but it's still there because I didn't disable the visibility so uh, it's complaining about I it's it's fine okay so this is about the start about the end jetpack let me go and, s and make this I will first of all say please stop jumping stop the player of jumping and I will set the visibility now set visibility to false okay it will be hidden in the game it be it will be not visible and set back that control set air control back to the default I believe it's 0.3 or 0.2 let me put that as a 0.3 okay so if I compile and play I have this why it's not uh, mm -hmm, visibility please go back <laughs> it's not on castle so it's on on completed it's my mistake it's first of all on start and on complete when you press please start on when you release stop so if I go up play now I have this okay so now it's time to make the two timer handles so when the player start this jetpack okay please if I have a fuel okay do this stuff make some air control and set the visibility and on end stop jumping and disable the visibility and return back to that default air control so now I need some timer that is uh, decreasing that the current fuel so I will make this as set timer by a function name okay not event sorry set timer by event okay I will make this event let me drag from this and say custom event please and I will say decrease fuel okay decrease fuel now this this will be called every point two seconds and it's looping and I will promote this as this is responsible for decreasing that fuel so later on I will can stop this timer okay so this will decrease the fuel and also launch the character so let me do this as a launch character please and I will give him a launch about uh, 
500 for example sorry 500 and there's a two bull, bull variables so if you tick this one you will have no control in, in your in the air control so it will be almost disabled for you you can't move the player in in, in the air so uh, leave that as a false but do this as this as a true thing okay and now i will decrease the fuel itself so i will do this and set please update my current fuel every 0.2 seconds okay and now i will take that and i will say minus please i will minus that it's the consuming how much you can consume you can promote this for a variable but i will do this as a fast thing okay and i will set that and put that inside this okay now i need to check now if the current fuel is less than or equal to zero okay so uh, when i start when i press that button i will start that jetpack do this visible things and make some air control and i'm setting that as a timer handle and promote that to the variable and please decrease the fuel launch the character first and decrease that every 0.2 seconds 20 percent okay so i need when that value value reach is less than or equal zero now it's time to do other things okay it's time to do please stop jumping first stop jumping please so the player no longer can jump and please clear that timer handle for me okay and let me uh, drag that get and please clear that timer for me okay so let me repeat that when you press that button it will start that jetpack and set a timer by event every point two seconds it's looping and it's doing this it's launching the character and consuming some fuel from you every point two seconds and when it's reached zero please stop jumping and clear that timer and this will say please pause uh, please stop this timer okay this is about uh, decreasing the fuel so on engine uh, when you when you release on from the keyboard and you say hey and jetpack uh, this basically saying please stop the movement and set the visibility back to false and return that air control to default so also you need to now to increase that value and this will be the same thing as this one okay but with a different time handle okay so now set timer by event and make also a custom event and i will say decrease fuel and this one is responsible as soon as you released your keyboard released your key it will end that jetpack and set timer by event and it will be increased that value also 0.2 seconds and it's looping and also promote not that one sorry that one promote that this as a variable okay and let me do, 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 do. let's let's now set a current fuel now i need to increase that and it's adding my fuel and i will add also 20 and um, let me clamp that value why not let me clamp that value between the min and the max jet fuel okay just in case i think that's all about that so to, to, i need to clear this one let me, let me try first and play if i press t please launch the character as soon the fuel consumed he will fall okay he's still 
doing this, so I need to clear this. So I released my 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 finger from the keyboard, but he's still because I need to do this on end jet back. So I need to clear that timer also in this one. Okay, so uh, decrease and uh, decrease this one. Okay, please. Just the one with me do this clear timer by handle and do this and also do this so it's two timer handles i know it's can get confusing but it's better than do that on event tick so let me repeat that when you press that key start jetpack showing that visibility and for the flamethrower and set some air control and set timer by event and this will launch the character on every 0.2 seconds and decrease my current fuel every 0.2 seconds 20 percent and when it's reached zero okay stop that jumping and clear that timer so this won't fire again and also let me do this and set visibility also to false okay turn that off so this is the logic and when you're released please increase my my fuel so i first of all end my jetpack and saying please stop set the vis visibility back to false and the air control back to false and first of all this is important you need to clear that because this is firing and nothing is stopping that timer so you need to stop that first and do this with another timer okay stop that timer please don't keep in a crease because the this one is keep launching me and i need to stop that so stop that and set another timer and this timer is responsible for increasing every 0.2 seconds increasing 20% so if I compile now and go on play and press on my T on my keyboard I am flying and when I consume I fall okay so let me show you I believe I made a widget for that yes I have been made a widget for that on begin play let's do this and let me hook this value with my current jetpack let me get player character and get current no I need to cast sorry cast to third person hook this and get current fuel jetpack please and since this value is normalized between 0 and 1 I need to divide that so let me also get the max fuel and I will divide that to this and hook as this okay so let me compile and play so I have this jetpack fuel okay so I hit T on the keyboard and now I'm flying with my jetpack. When I release, see it's firing that timer handle. When I release, woo, I jump. Let me do this again. Okay, so it's let me consume that. Why it's just still keep firing? It's interesting. Let me stop. Start jetpack, call this. I I believe I also need to uh, I need to stop that one also. It's the increase. Let me clear timer also by handle to stop the other timer. Okay. We compile and play. And when it's reached zero, it's still zero. I need to release my keyboard and it's decreasing back. Okay. So let me repeat that. Uh, this is a widget. It's a simple thing. It's just bind 
that current fuel with the max fuel divided so let me go to the third person i repeat that i first of all add a mesh this is just for uh, representation of that jet back mesh and some flame can be shown and i made two simple functions one is start jetpack the other one is end jetpack okay and when the player press that key please start the jetpack and it's all it's doing is saying if you have some fuel in your jetpack please set some air control and set the visibility of this particle system and when you do this please make a timer handle for me and this timer is decreasing the fuel by event this decrease the fuel every 0.2 seconds and it's looping keep launching the character about this value which you can customize this one and decrease that value about 20 percent every 0.2 seconds okay and if it's zero stop moving and exit from that timer and set the visibility of that flame to false and also when you do that you also need you need to clear that and increase the other one the increased one because there's a possibility that you have released that button and this one is keep firing so uh, sorry not this one uh, this one this one okay so you need to clear that also okay so basically it's simple when you say set timer by this one clear the other one set timer by this one you can you can do this you can let me make this as this and it's let's sorry do this as the same thing okay when you say set timer to this one clear the, the other one when you say please set timer to this one clear the other one so you need to clear one on another okay so this will increase this every 0.2 seconds and it's looping and set the current jet fuel by every uh 20 percent and it's clamping that value and setting that you can if you if you want some smooth maybe you can 0.15 every 0.15 seconds 0.15 okay compile and play and you will have this see the widget is more smooth because the timing is less okay so this is how you can make a jet back system inside unreal engine 5 hope you enjoyed this video